2024 had been a very tough year for tech jobs and especially the AI, ML and data science related roles. I've been getting a lot of comments where people were telling me that they have been applying for hundreds even thousands of positions without getting any interviews scheduled. An ex-colleague of mine at Meta recently published this LinkedIn article in which she analyzed about 80 job postings, most of them were related to data science and machine learning roles. And on average, there were about 1000 plus applicants per single job posting. Now, of course, when there is so much competition for each of the new job opening, people who are applying for these job roles have to go through a very tough time. But now as we are entering into 2025, I wanted to share my thoughts on what I think the future looks like for data science and machine learning roles in 2025. And more importantly, if you are an aspiring data scientist, what you can do to increase your odds of landing a job in the coming year. So before we start looking into data science and machine learning roles, let's first look at the overall tech job market. There is no denying the fact that 2023 and 24 had been pretty brutal for the tech job market. We can see from this trend line, which is showing the number of open tech jobs were touching about 500,000 and now they are hovering about 200,000. So number of open jobs have decreased by more than 50% in the last two years. Now, when you compare it against all the layoffs which happened in the last two years, and a lot of new graduates coming from universities, a lot of new people coming into the US on H-1B visas, and then there are boot camps and people switching careers into tech from other industries. Of course, there is a lot of competition for all tech jobs and getting a job, especially if you are a beginner, a newcomer into the field, has been extremely difficult in the last two years. And that is especially true for data science and machine learning roles. And the main reason being just about when the number of open jobs started going down, Chat GPT was launched. A lot of people started having first-hand experience on what the future of AI looks like. And that led to a lot of new supply coming into the data science job market because people were switching fields into AI adjacent roles. And there are a lot of new universities and boot camps who are giving education about data science and machine learning. So because of this overall hype in data science, the number of new applicants for data science jobs have significantly increased in the last two years. Whereas we are seeing that the number of job postings overall has been declining. However, when we look at just the AI ML roles, the sort of good thing is that when the overall tech market is declining, if you look exclusively for the AI ML roles, the number of job postings have actually been increasing over the period of time. Now, of course, that is a very promising sign that when overall job market is in decline, companies are still willing to spend money on AI, ML, and data science related roles. But the supply of candidates still significantly overweighs the number of open jobs. And that is why you are seeing so many applicants for job posts, which are even just posted. And another reason for this high supply for data science roles is that the machine learning libraries and the toolkit, they have been maturing over the last couple of years. And now there is so much levels of abstraction on top of it that you can use most advanced machine learning libraries with just a handful of clicks and with some very useful commands, which you don't even have to remember because ChatGPT can tell you how to, for example, run a gradient boosting trees on a data set. So when the barrier for entry is becoming so low and ChatGPT can actually help you write the code, a lot of people think they can easily become a data scientist and do most of tasks which are needed on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is just leading to a lot of competition. So now in terms of what I think the future of data science job market is going to look like in 2025, I think the main and most fundamental reason behind why we are seeing such a tough job market was that the interest rates have increased a lot in the last two, three years. And that led to overall a very tough job market it was especially true for tech jobs and even more true when it comes to data science and machine learning roles. Now, the Federal Reserve Bank has already started reducing the interest rates. They have already cut it by half percent. There are more cuts scheduled in the upcoming Fed meetings, and that will definitely impact overall tech job market and especially data science and machine learning roles. As I've shown you, the number of job postings have already been increasing over the period of years for AI ML roles. And with this reduction 
in interest rate, we would see that there would be even more investments in terms of number of jobs for AI, ML and data science roles. Now, of course, there is a lot of competition. A big chunk of that competition is coming from layoffs. When the market stabilizes, we would see that these layoffs would, might still be there, but the magnitude would be much smaller as we have seen in the last two years. And also I see there would be a reduction in the supply because a lot of people who thought that they could just get into data science and machine learning roles by doing a two month bootcamp would realize that it is not true and the kind of skill set you need actually to get into the field the bar for that is actually pretty high so my expectation is that as we enter into the summer of 2025 the job market especially for data science and machine learning roles would be similar to what we have seen pre-pandemic now of course during pandemic when the interest is for very low there was a big increase in the number of job posts and everyone and their grandma were getting a tech job that is not going to be the case in 2025 but we can expect a similar job market as we had in 2019 and 2018 you would still expect some competition but if you know the fundamentals of machine learning and have good programming skills then I'm pretty sure that your chances of getting a job would be much higher than they have been in the last two years as we enter into 2025. The most important thing you can do for now is just that as we are going through this tough time, use it for your advantage and double down on your learning skills. I've created a free guide where I've detailed the whole roadmap or what you should be learning and from where you should be learning all the concepts which are needed to crack data science and machine learning interviews. The link for that is in the description. And as I said, it's free of cost. I've created it with the goal that how you can use your time most efficiently to increase your odds of cracking data science and machine learning interviews. Please check out that guide. Also in this video, I've covered some of the misconceptions and common wrong advice, which leads to a lot of wastage of time for aspiring data scientists. I have gone through them in this video. Please check it out. Thank you so much for watching.